Frogman Masters Champion from France. He is the French Touch, Thibaut Trico. to Pontins Pristat in our third match of the evening as our Welsh Classic men's final played over the best of 11 legs between Jim Williams of Wales and Thibaut Tricol of France. this tournament was uh oh, sorry no it wasn't it was Friday morning weekend yeah, we started on Friday morning and at Thibaut a couple of 3-0 wins in the early stages we're defeating John Burgess 4-3 we defeated James Hurrell 4-2 we defeated Scott Marsh 4-3 quarter final beat Richard Eirig Rollins 4-3 and then the semis dispatched Nick Fullwell by five legs to three. 46. Timo Uruguay 126. 46 scored to leave 80. 1-2-1 for Trico. Double 18 for the first leg. 80. Oh, away. Gives Jim Williams a chance at 80. 80. Double 20 would leave double 10. And Didi has hit treble 20, so double 10. Double five now. 75. Lucky okay, just comes inside. Thibaut Uruguay, Double 18 for Thibaut Trico. Double nine now. Can you use that as a marker? No. Thibaut Uruguay, Five then for Jim Williams, single one. Leaves double two for a one nil lead. Madhouse. Three. Just the one side of the wire. Thibaut Uruguay, 80. Two nines then for Trico. Just the wrong side of the wire yet again. Oh, that could be awkward. And again, maybe it won't be. 1 0. Thibaut Trico. it not giving the referee a chance to give his start of leg spiel. Gary Roderick, our referee, just having a, a word off stage with our scorers. Eighty. Yeah, look at that one. 
nice start from Jim just catching the, the corner of those wires there, bouncing straight back out. Sixty. We've talked about Tebow's route to the final, what about Jim's? Started with a 3-2 win over his countryman Jeff Bass before defeating Stephen Hales 3-0. Top 64 win against Ryan Hogarth by four legs to two. Before defeating Mark Lynham four legs to two. A top 16 win 4 0 over Darren Johnson. Before defeating the Scotsman Ian McKenzie 4 1 in the quarters. And a very close 5 4 win in the semis over James Ruthless Richardson. Jim averaging 95 in that semi final. James averaging 98. Also had a nice 102 average in his second round match over Stephen Hills. 140. Reduce of the 25 there to leave 160 upon his return. But Thibaut Chico will have a lot less left than that. 145. Left one sixty then for Jimmer. Not to be. Thibaut Tico will be back for a forty one. That would give him a two nil lead. Seventy eight. Again, if Thibaut does take a two nil lead, the, the alarm bells won't be ringing just yet. Double sixteen it is. There it is, two nil to the Frenchman. But the alarm bells will not be ringing for Jim just yet. Best of 11 this one, first of six. Still, still plenty of time to get back into this. Slight delay in proceedings here, there's Jim there, maybe just doing a little bit of running repair to the darts. Seven, so it's the halfway point. Ella Williams of England will take on Eleanor Cairns, also of England. Our boys final in the Welsh Open sees Luke Whittler taking on Caden Smith. 29. And Kirsty and Bo will return to the stage for the second leg of their rivalry of the day. Another best of nine match to decide who will become Welsh Open champion and who will book their place and get that golden ticket to the lakeside. And finally, best of 11, the Welsh Open men's final. Again, the golden ticket on offer to the man who wins. And that will be between Scotland's Cameron Menzies and England's James Hurrell. Tebow of tops for a 13 dart leg, yes, and that takes him halfway to the title. Tebow just averaging just short of 94, Jim just over 84. as a man on form, has found himself finishing number one 97. on the Challenge Tour rankings this year. Seven. 
Outstanding darts from the Welshman. 137. Good scoring from Tebow, but he's not left himself on a finish. The 169 when he returns. The 306, he should really always be starting in the 19s. Because Jim Williams has come down. May come down again. 139. Nearly back to back 177s. But he is on a finish. Tebow is not. Jim Williams to get a leg on the board. Treble 20 for double 14. Single 18 for the bull. Bullseye. Eight shot Eight is a nut. Jim Williams. Uh, Tebow thinks it's him to throw first, it's Fifth, not, it's Jim. Uh, Jim to throw first, game on. Officer's apology steps out of the way. Fifty-nine. Oh, she's now both over 90. Tebow 96 on the nose. Jim just under 92 Four, and a half. Seven. One hundred and thirty-nine. Still great darts though from the quiff. Sixty. So three hundred and three. Should be coming down. Yep, coming down for the nineteens. Ninety-nine. Good thinking there. Would have left the 170, the big fish. Ninety-seven. Great last start to leave 107 when he returns. Tebow looking to leave a finish of his own, and he will do it. So 107 options here for Jim Williams. Looks like he's starting on the 20s. Treble 17 now. 70, so again 10s or 18s. Yep. Leaves double eight. If he comes back, T1, 121. Doable. Treble 20 for double 18. He's missed 121 already in this match. Not this time though. What an excellent finish from the Frenchman. Went the same way. It was the first leg of the match. Yes. 25 was hit, the treble 20 was hit, and he missed the double 18. Not this time. And what a start of this leg as well. A maximum. And a leg that would take him one away from the title. Sublime to the ridiculous, a 180 followed by a 45. How many times have we seen it? Punishment then from Mr. Williams. Can he fill it up himself? Yes, yes he can. Sending this prestating crowd wild with that 180. 140. Can't fill it up this time, or he'll be bust. 145. Super darts, but Pico and 136. A doable finish, but not this time. Single 16 will leave tops. 
96. That's only if Jim Williams does not take out 36. Double 18 to break the throw and reduce their rears to two. Uses that first start as the perfect marker. Flicks the barrel and it goes. And it is 4-2 in favour of the Frenchman. However, Jim Williams does have to throw in the seventh leg. Seventh leg is Jim to throw first. Game on. Should the match go to a deciding eleventh leg, Jim will have the throw in that. But he's just concentrating and taking every leg as it comes to try and get back into the match. Sixty. Trico has other ideas. Look at this. Oh, pulls the last start. You can see the frustration coming out there. Two fantastic darts and then pulls the third one into the small one. But here comes Jim. Coming down for the 19s. 137. Super cover shooting from the cliff. trebles found but one of them was the treble five still enough to just keep his nose in front of this leg well until Jim threw that dart then coming down 136 136 419s with those second and third darts 89. doesn't leave him a finish though 168 so no panic stations just yet. Trico not in a finish either. But Jim will want to leave this as handy as possible. Because there is every chance that Trico could leave himself a double after these starts. I still want to leave a decent finish even if it's not a double. Needed more than that, I think. It's one, two, four for Jim Williams. Shot still on treble 18. No, just the wrong side of the wire. 136 to treble 20s. And that's one of them. That's two of them. Double eight. Oh, yes, indeedy. What a finish from Thibaut Trico. Outstanding 136, and just look at those averages. Timo 99 and a half, and Jim just under 98. Really have exploded into life in this match. And a superb start from Timo Trico in a leg that if he wins it, he wins the Welsh Classic. He's going along at a feral pace this match. I'm sure both players will be enjoying the pace that's being played at and I'm sure Garin, our referee, will be as well. Back to back turn 40s. Magnificent stuff from the Frenchman. Jim Williams wanted or needed. Only scored 104 points over two visits. And Thibaut Trico is already on a finish. 236 points in front. Minus these. So, 161 for the title. Treble 20. No, we'll just set it up. We will never know if he would have went for the 161. He didn't really have to. Plenty of time. With Jim back in 337. Finally, Jim finding the treble. But is it too little? Is it too late? Shanghai for the match. There's the treble. There's the single. Is this the double? No. Just the wrong side of the wire. And that is one match dark gone. Jim still not on a finish though. Needs a big score here. Just in case. Trickle does not take out that 40. Will come down. Needs a treble 19. 
Oh, goes the treble 17. Okay. Fair enough. So, tops. Has to come down a bit. Not that far, Tebow. Double 10. No. Is this nerves just creeping in at the finish line? Oh, now then. Double 16 to steal it. Oh, dear. Double 10 then for the match. This time he makes no mistake. And it is a world ranking title yet again for Thibaut Trico. A fantastic final. And it is the Frenchman, Thibaut Trico, who is the 2021 Welsh Classic French champion. Gentlemen, once again, a massive round of applause for your two finalists. What a final it was. Once again, our presentation party have returned to crown our champion. But first of all, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a round of applause to your Welsh Classic finalist, the Quiff, Jeff Williams. Time for Jim Williams. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your 2021 Men Welsh Classic Men's Champion from France, Timo Trico. Once again, your Welsh Classic Men's Champion, Timo Trico! Well, that brings to a conclusion the Welsh Classic. We will be back on stage in a couple